Hey, welcome to this mama's house. Today I'm sharing with you my Costco haul and a kitchen clean with me. I'd like to thank Boogines for sponsoring the cleaning portion of today's video. They sent me these beautiful cleaning cloths and even a pack to give away to you guys. So stay tuned for when I clean my kitchen to hear more about these amazing microfiber cloths for cleaning your home. Hey guys, my name is Tabitha. If you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe. I share homemaking videos cleaning, cooking, grocery hauls, all that fun stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, give this video a thumbs up and definitely let me know your favorite type of homemaking video down below so I can make that kind of content for you in the new year. But today I'm sharing with you my $1,500 Costco haul. This is a ton of stuff that we got. And before you comment asking how long this stuff will last, the answer is pretty much I don't know it lasts varying on what it is so basically the produce will probably last a week and a half whereas a lot of the other stuff might last a month maybe two months but my guess is that will probably go back to Costco around the end of February so make sure you stay tuned to see just how long it does last so I'm gonna show you everything that I got from Costco but the cold stuff and the freezer stuff is already put away so it's gonna be a little bit different how I share everything with you, but I also have to clean this disaster of a kitchen. Today is actually New Year's Eve and I really wanna get everything put away, organized, and get the kitchen clean so we can just enjoy our evening together as a family bringing in the new year. So first of all, let me show you the Costco stuff. Starting with the things right here on the floor next to the table, we got another bag of dog food. This is their puppy dog food, which is perfect for us because we do have a little puppy, but we also have an older dog. Um, and this is like the only one at Costco that I saw that had like little tiny um, kibble. So we got the dogs that. We have some toilet tissue as well as paper towel. Then we have three cases of rice milk. This is the kids' favorite, my husband's favorite, and it's the best in recipes because um, it doesn't change the flavor like almond milk does, which we got one container of almond milk because that's my favorite, personally. I really like this Kirkland brand um, of the unsweetened. Then on the table, we have a ton of stuff. And if I sound out of breath, it's probably because I am, but I'm currently almost 15 weeks pregnant, so you gotta give a sister a break sometimes. I have a, a thing of olive oil here. These come in two packs and these last a really long time. We also got some avocado oil. We have cast iron skillets and I wanted to try out avocado oil to season them. And then over here we have some Hellman's mayo. Our Costco finally started carrying the Mateo's salsa again. So I ended up getting four of the Mateo's salsas because it's my favorite and you never know when they're gonna stop carrying it again. And then we have a bag of hemp seeds. We have a bag of chia seeds and we have a bag of flax seeds. So I like to do a serving size of each three of these seeds and then just stir it up in a glass of milk and that's like my morning shake and it really helps um, digestion. So if you need help in that area, these three together are like a powerhouse. Then we have these three packs of marinara sauce. We got three of those, so we got nine jars of that. And we do avoid sugar, so usually if you're avoiding sugar, marinara sauce won't have it, but like regular spaghetti sauce would. So that's why we always go with marinara. Then here we have some wild rice. This just looks so good, and I'd like to make like a soup with it. That's what I was thinking when I bought it. Then we have two packs of this Alfredo sauce, and as you can see, one is missing. We got this haul last night or yesterday like afternoon, so we've already kind of busted into some of the stuff. Then um, right here we have two bags of the monk fruit 
sweetener. This is basically like zero sugar, zero glycemic sugar replacer and it tastes really sweet and good. Then we have a bag of the Dunkin' Donuts coffee and also a bag of the Kirkland medium roast. Then here we have a bunch of pasta. So um, if you've been following me for a long time, whoops, you know that I drop stuff a lot. But no, um, if you've been following me a long time, you'll know that I've been dairy free and gluten free forever. Um, but recently, we just started eating wheat again. I've never had a problem with wheat. I just like made the choice to go gluten free. Um, and we've added it back in in our diet and it's been totally fine and totally good and we're enjoying it. So we got some organic wheat pasta, the spaghetti, and then this is like all different types of noodles. There's six bags in there. So we got a bunch of pasta to go with our huge lot of sauce. But then I also got some Dave's Killer Bread. We get this for the kids because this does have sugar and they do eat a little bit of sugar. Um, but then for my husband and I, we got sourdough because usually sourdough does not have sugar. And then we got a bag of almond flour because I still like to make gluten-free stuff. Um, and that's like where I get most of my recipes because I've used them for so long. Then we have two, well, four boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios. And we have some of these oatmeal squares for the kids. We actually have another box of these, but we've already busted into them. And then we have two things of peanut butter. There's another one down here. And we have applesauce pouches. They didn't have the 50 count box this time, so I was kind of bummed, but um, just because that was such a good deal. But the Kirkland ones are good as well. I'm like, I don't know where to go next. There's so much here. Um, we have two of the animal crackers. That is my youngest son's absolute favorite. We have some of the Mott's um, fruit snacks. These are like dye free. So that's what I look for when I look for fruit snacks. This is the kids favorite pancake mix. So we have Korea cake for them. And then we also got them some ketchup. We don't use very much ketchup, so three bottles is going to last us forever. Now I have to go to the other side of the table. We have um, some of the apple cider vinegar. I like to use this when we're taking like baths. I'll put a little bit in the bath and it actually helps to like detox your body or use it for tuna fish and in recipes and stuff. Then my husband loves these um, Spanish olives, so he has four, four jars of those. We've got some maple syrup. We got shelled pistachios here, which I totally would have missed those two. That was still on the other side of the table. We have um, macaroni and cheese, Annie's mac and cheese. Then we have keto pancakes. I shared this on my Instagram, and this is definitely my favorite Birch Benders pancake. We used to try their paleo pancakes and they weren't, I didn't like them as much as I like these. So these are made with almonds, eggs, tiger nut, coconut. Um, they're so, so good. So we got four bags of those because I was shocked to see them. And at like the regular grocery store, it's the same price for like half the bag. So I got four of them and hoping that they continue to keep them in stock because that would be awesome. Then we have two bags of our Raymond noodles that we like to use. We got a bag of veggie straws for the kids. We have two of these vegetable chips. We have two of these, but we've already busted into one. So two of these um, Himalayan potato chips. And then two of the organic tortilla chips. We've got some regular pistachios down here. And we have two boxes of these chewy bars the kids love. I always try to get them some sort of granola bar and it always seems like Somebody doesn't like it, but all of my kids like these chewy bars, so that's a big win for us. Then we got a bunch of different vitamins. We got some B12 for me because my iron is low, and if you take B12, it helps you to absorb the iron in your diet. And then we have two bottles of these collagen tablets. This is good for your skin and hair and all that stuff. As you age, your collagen production goes down. So we picked some of that up. We have two things of fish oil. My midwife likes me to take this when I'm pregnant. And then we have two of the Smarty Pants 
vitamins for the kids. And we also got this liquid CoQ10 again. If you saw my last haul, we got this and we actually really enjoyed it and we felt a difference in our energy. So we wanted to get that again. And then we have two things of butter here. This is a lot of butter and we go through it big time. And then we have two boxes of vegetable broth. This has six cartons inside and this stuff is so, so good. This will make any soup recipe delicious. We have some ban bananas over here that have surprisingly went brown really, really fast. So I'll probably end up freezing those for smoothies. Then we have a bag of limes as well as a bag of lemons and a bag of oranges. And then I have some random cleaning supplies over here. We have the Kirkland dish soap. We have some finished rinse aid for the dishwasher. I have some baking soda. And then this is the Kirkland dishwasher packs. And then we, this is the laundry soap that we've been using for years. Um, this is the Ecos laundry detergent. So we got two jugs of that. And then we also got some OxyClean. So that is everything that we got that's like our dry goods and the non-perishables. I have to organize the pantry and like rearrange stuff to put it in there better. I was putting the kids snacks up high thinking that maybe they wouldn't try to take as many if they were up high, but now they're just climbing the pantry. So I'm gonna have to rearrange everything in there and just like wipe stuff down. Um, but first let me show you some of the things that we got that are in the fridge and freezer. So like I said, I am doing dairy again and I got this heavy whipping cream for my coffee, but I actually froze half of it because I don't think I could go through this much whipping cream before it went bad, um, but I got that. And then we have a ton of stuff, like you can't even really see it all because we got so much. Um, but here's one of the almond milks that we got and we are using. We have um, spinach in here. A bag of spinach, this is really good for my iron. We're probably gonna end up freezing it when it starts to kinda get weird to put it in smoothies. And we have this huge bag of carrots that we've been using to juice. We have all of that yogurt. Um, the Activia was on sale for $3 for all of that. So that was a really, really good deal. Ugh. Let me put this back. We got a bunch of these bacons. This is like sugar-free, nitrate-free. Um, Coleman is the brand um, of bacon right here. Then we got like four bags of this cheese. Three are in the freezer already. Um, but we, we love this cheese because it does freeze so easily. And when you take it out, it's just, it's like it's brand new. So you don't have to worry about it going bad. We got this ham, which I thought was so cool. It's fully cooked and it's very, very lean. And it looks delicious. My kids love pork. And I feel like this will just be a really, really easy dinner. Just literally like slicing it up and warming it up and serving it with a couple sides. So this is gonna be a good dinner at some point. And this turkey breast is the same idea. It's fully cooked. So it'll make for a really, really easy dinner. Then we got these little weenies that are nitrate free and sugar free. And I make it like a homemade barbecue sauce. And I think these would be really good with that or just like dipping them in mustard. All right, down on the shelf we have a bunch of eggs. This is like five dozen eggs and I think we got, so we got like 10 dozen eggs total. We have a thing of strawberries and then we bought the little holy guacamole um, individual things but I don't like putting any cardboard in the refrigerator because it always seems to like stick to the glass. So I just put it in these Ziploc bags. We have two of them and then we also got a romaine lettuce. We got some blackberries. This is so weird that I'm doing this like in the fridge. And we got some grapes. And then here in this drawer, we got a ton of my husband's favorite kind of cheese. You guys have seen these in my Costco hauls before. It's the Bella Vitano Merlot cheese. It is so, so delicious. And now that I'm eating dairy again, I'm like in love. And then we have the Columbus chicken breast. I think this is the same brand as the bacon, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Then we have some of this um, Colby Jack cheese for grilled cheese for the kids, and all these little string cheese for them. 
Then in here we got English cucumbers. We got a bunch of bags of Brussels sprouts. We have peppers, lots of peppers. And then down in this drawer, we have blackberries that are stuck. But yeah, I guess basically all I have in here from Costco is blackberries and dates. The lemons and um, apples and ginger are from Meyer. Now for my freezer section, we have so much stuff and it's like this, these little side-by-side -side fridges, I feel like the freezer is just so dinky. Maybe it's the same size of like those drawer fridges, but I just feel like it's smaller. But we have some of this Normandy Brun frozen vegetables. We got green beans back there as well. And we got this fully cooked sausage. This is sugar free, it's the chicken sausage. The pork one is not sugar free, unfortunately, but this stuff is really, really good. Okay, down here we have some of the triple berry blend. We've got egg whole waffles, more of this bacon, like I said, the frozen cheese. We have some frozen mango, more bacon, more cheese. Uh, and this down here is just like a ton of chicken. I think we got like three packs. And then we also found this ground sausage that we'll use for breakfast burritos. So now you've seen everything that we got from Costco. Sorry about the weird um, haul. It's all in my fridge and freezer. I couldn't let that stuff go bad, but I couldn't film it last night. So I wanted to make sure that I did though, because a $1,500 Costco haul is pretty epic. And I'm hoping that a lot of this will last for a long, long time. But now I have to clean the mess that surrounds me in my kitchen and get everything put away. I decided to start with doing the dishes because I just wanted to get that out of the way. That is one of my least favorite chores, so just having the dishes done was really important to me. So I got the dishwasher unloaded and loaded it back up and got that sucker started so that we could have some clean dishes. Again, I wanted to thank Hoogins for sponsoring today's video. These microfiber cloths are amazing and I have some to give away to you guys. All of the instructions for the giveaway are listed down in the description box. But these microfiber cloths are so soft and they're actually beautiful and I've never seen cloths that are as pretty as this for cleaning. So I was really excited to have these sent to me and share them with you because I feel they work really, really well. Because of the magnet like quality, the cloth is really, really good for dry dusting. They have really long fibers that literally attracts the dirt and dust like a magnet and I so noticed that when I was cleaning with them. So it makes it even easy to dust small objects and like weird shaped things like lamps or even like your house plants too. And they're super easy to take care of as well. You can just throw them in the wash and they're good. So if you would like to purchase a set of these cloths, check the link down below and also make sure you check it out for the giveaway. my cast iron skillets. I love these things. If you don't have cast iron, you should totally get on it because they're just so good for your health. They actually add some iron into your food, which is beneficial, and they're just really, really useful and sturdy. But I do think that they require more care than most people are used to. 
So as you can see, I'm sprinkling a little bit of salt on this particular cast iron pan because it was getting a little bit tough for me to scrub because one of the things with cast iron is that you never use soap just hot water and a scrubber and sometimes the salt and then the thing about cast iron is that it tends to rust so you want to make sure that they get extremely dry and that is why i have them on the stove with the heat under them so that it can literally just evaporate any extra moisture and then you also have to season your cast iron with either oil or butter or and you literally just rub it around the cast iron and you leave it on the heat until it reaches its smoking point. And the reason you wanna do that is because you don't want the oil to get rancid while it's on the um, pan. So you basically just kind of burn it off. And then I like to store my cast iron in the oven. Next, I am going to scrub down my stainless steel sink, and this is the first time I've ever had a stainless steel sink. Before this, we had like a white porcelain sink, and that's pretty much the only types of sink I've ever had to deal with. But I noticed that it kind of gets a little bit grungy with all sinks, they do. But I'm just using this soft scrub bar keepers a friend. This is a little bit more natural than most of your soft scrubs. They also have like a powder version, but I really like this. It works really well and it smells kind of lemony, which is nice and refreshing. So I'm just gonna scrub down the sink and then rinse it out and then move on to the rest of the kitchen.
in the stove and this is when I really really noticed that these microfiber cloths were doing an excellent job just like the knobs and all of the little smudges and everything it just came off so so easily and I used a little bit of method cleaner for like the stainless steel part but it just left it so shiny and there was no like leftover streak marks or anything like that um, so I was really impressed by these microfiber cloths and one of the biggest things that feels so good about a clean kitchen is having a clean stove. now so I'm ready to reorganize the pantry and get the rest of the Costco stuff put away. My husband helped put most of it away. We bring it downstairs, the stuff that we aren't going to be using right away. So this is all I have left to put away but I also want to rearrange these cupboards a bit. They're looking a little bit disorganized and messy and the kids can't get to their stuff so we're going to get this tackled next. <music> Cupboards are all organized. It might not look that different on camera, but it feels a lot better. All the kids' snacks and breakfast stuff is here, and then stuff that me and Ryan use more and stuff for cooking is up higher, so it just works out way better, and it looks awesome. So thank you for watching this Costco haul and clean with me video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.